I choose to be friends with is not your motherfucking problem. Okay, that's first of all. Second of all, do I tell you where you can and can't go? What the hell is this? I'm free. Bitch, did somebody tie you down and hold a gun to your head for three years? I don't think so. Nobody ever held a fucking gun to your head where you got to run around. Oh, I'm free. Get the fuck out of here with this fake ass bullshit. Uh, that's first of all. Second of all, why in the hell? She's an ex Patreon. Why in the hell do you think that I think about you before I choose to make a friend? That's first of all. I don't give a fuck where you go. It's not my issue, nor is it my problem. But thank you for showing me and for blatantly admitting that you're only going to these places to piss me off. I'm glad I hold so much power in your brain because you don't hold any in mine. I do not fucking think about you before I decide to be friends with someone. I do not think of you or base my friendships on how, who or where, what lives you go to. You call everybody else a narcissist? Bitch, I think you're a psychopath. I really do. I, what kind of sick and twisted bullshit is that comment? And if people don't know the comment I'm talking about, it's on my cover and I'll show you again. So some of you guys aren't blind. Um, so you're not like seeing this blindly. She says, Laura, you bitch, because a few of your ex-mods are going to other chats. Okay, first of all, when have I ever said a word about you going to another chat? Just tell me. Just tell me. When have I ever said a word? Never. Never. You have not, you have not heard me talk about you going to other chats ever. Then writes, F you. Um, this isn't personal to you. Like, today is personal to you, Hawk. But nothing else is personal to you. I didn't know that now I'm besties with Molly again? Really? Please let me know when that happened. Or please let me know why people are saying this. I'll wait. Then says, sit the fuck down. I am free. When were you not free? Hello? When were you not free, Huck? Please tell me when you were not free. I'll wait. Yeah, that's what I thought. You've always been free, Huck. You've always been free to go wherever the fuck you want to go. I did not deserve a comment like that anywhere. Anywhere. Sorry, not sorry, but I didn't. I've done nothing to you, Huck. Nothing. Now let's address Molly, okay? I do not know why so many people think me and Molly are besties. Molly called me one time. One time. The only reason I answered, I thought someone was dead. I, I was not on YouTube all day, and I really thought someone died. Like, why else would Molly call me? I am not friends with Molly again, but Huck, it's not because of you. I promise you. It is not because of you or anybody else. It is my own beliefs, my own feelings, and my own decision based on, based on our past. Not mine and your past, Huck. Mine and Molly's past. Molly hurt me really bad when she never even acknowledged that the father of my son passed away. She knew how I felt about Brad. She knew how close I was with Brad. She knew the hell I went through with Brad. She could have at least said, wow, you know, sorry for Dayton, so on and so on. She didn't. She never even acknowledged it. That is something that I will never forget. And that is something that I just don't forget for. I just don't. There's many, many, many reasons. Now, does that mean that I can never speak to her ever again? No. Does that mean that I can't make her candles or people candles? No, it does not. Will I ever, ever put any amount of faith in her? No. Will I ever trust her? No. Will I ever, um, will I always care about what happens to her family? Of course. Do I think she's an over hip, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hypochondriac, um, narcissist? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, we're not friends. She called me to confirm something about uh, Pugs, that Pugs is a fucking lying piece of shit. And she's right. She was right. Pugs is a lying piece of shit. End of story. End of story. I have heard people say, I crawled back to Molly. Please tell me when I crawled back to Molly. Please tell me. Please tell me when I even initiated a friendship with Molly again. But everyone right likes to run with their own fucking narrative. Let's not, let's not look at the facts. Let's just run with whatever fake fucking narrative someone seems wants to run with. Holy fuck. It is unreal. She was having trouble with Pugs and called you for backup. Laura thought someone was dead. It, but that's all it was. It, nobody spoke to her. No, like, I answered the phone because I thought it was something major. Like, why else would Molly be calling me? I was sitting on my couch. Like, when do I ever even fucking relax anyway? My tooth was killing me. I'm sitting on the couch, and all of a sudden, <clears throat> I see a phone call from Molly. I was like, what the fuck is Molly calling me for? And I was kind of curious, so I answered it. Plain and simple. But, but Adrian, the point is, A, I don't crawl back to anybody. That's first of all. But second of all, the narrative that these people run with. Hey, Dylan, like these people run with, like I owe them some kind of fucking explanation. I don't owe you an explanation, Huck. You are not my friend. You are not my Patreon. You are not my member. You are like an ex-boyfriend. I'm done with you. Go be in any chats you want to be in. Go hang out with all the people you could not stand for three years. Go hang out with all the people that you talk shit about for three fucking years. Go right ahead. Leave my fucking name out of your mouth. There's no reason for me to get it, uh, for me to see a screenshot like I posted. I am not a bitch. And even if me and Molly were best friends again, it has absolutely nothing to do with you. I I'm sorry that you think everything is about you. It is not about you. I do not make any decisions based on you. I do not make any decisions about you in my life. I do not think about you in my life. I'm sorry. Not sorry. The shit needs to stop. The shit seriously needs to stop.